These are the colors I'm using. Golden Pants Gray. I love golden pants. They're just so highly pigmented and they're worth more that you spend on them. But with this one, with these fluid acrylics, I seriously, sometimes I only use like two drops, 10 drops. It's, they last forever. And other goldens I have is Titan Green Pale and Cunic, everybody's favorite. And Iridescent Fine Gold. I love other golds, but I just want this look of a paler gold in this painting, so that's what I'm going for. Okay, so let's see, I know I want more of this color and I think I'm just going to actually put the copper in it. I will kind of kill two birds with one stone and I want at least one metallic in here. All right, so I'm just going to dump some in and then I'll see where we're at. Ooh, okay, that's kind of a lot. And I guess I'll need some Floetrol. So I'm just gonna mix that up and see where we're at. I think it's pretty thick, but I just wanna look at the color. Okay, so that looks, that looks pretty good. Okay, moving on. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. And then, let's see. Uh, I know I want like at least one pre-saturated color. So I'll start with this one. And I'm just gonna add some Floetrol and some paint gray. Okay, here we go. I actually put a little, quite a bit in there. A confident amount. I think that's a confident amount, don't you? I'm just gonna let it sit for a while because I'm just not sure. All right, and so I'm gonna do some more of this because it's a, a de desaturated color. I'm really into the desaturated colors lately. And the golden is so easy to use, honestly. Just a couple drops and you're good to go, honestly. Oh, that was probably even more than I And the thing I like about golden colors, well, maybe you can do this on any paint, but you can just add a little bit or add a lot and then have like different variations of the same hue and it just turns out beautiful in, in a painting. See, I like that. I don't want it super saturated, okay. Uh, let's see what do we got. I still have, I have to mix some of this up, so I'm just going to do the usual, oops, and back over cup, and then squirt quite a bit of flow troll in there because I want to make quite a bit, and I, I might not have to thin this a lot because it's a fluid acrylic. Stop. 
store. Spoon, actually, it's, it's a dollar twenty-five store now. Okay, look at that gold. It's just so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. When in doubt, add more. Sure. Oh, that's probably too much. Oh, that's okay. Okay, you can just lay down here. So beautiful. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. Let's see. So we got enough quantities of this, 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 and this. I want to do a lot of the white. Uh, is that even? No, I want to use the testers, and I could add it to this or this. Um, I think I add it to this just because there's a little more there. Let's get this like open. I want kind of a, a muted pink. And I know that if it turns out too bright, I sometimes I can add like a drop of green to it to tone it down a little bit. Although sometimes it makes more of a purple. I think it's a little too pink though. So I'll show you about the green thing. And I'm just going to use this because if you use like a highly saturated green, you risk going too far in the green direction. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try actually just one drop of this, if I can get one drop in there. Let's see if that's enough. I'm going to add just a little more green because I like to experiment. All right, now let's see what happens with that. Sam Sand and green, maybe a little too much. 